everyone, happy new year one more time. Welcome to 2024. So in this video, we're going to be solving an equation that has a degree of 2024, or should I say duomilia viginti quator. Anyway, that's such a weird name, but that's what it's called as far as I know in Latin. Anyway, so we're going to be solving this equation. We have x to the power 2024 plus 1 equals x to the power 2023. How do you solve such a high degree equation? Are there any formulas? Pfft. Even quintics have no general solution. So we can't solve this with a formula, unfortunately. And even if, even if a formula existed, imagine how many pages would that be? Maybe a million pages. Anyways, we're going to use special polynomials. And in that sense, don't you think complex numbers are awesome? Okay, let's take a look. We have a very special equation, which is going to give us very special results. Obviously, when you see something like this, and the question says, find a solution. Obviously, it's not asking for all the solutions, which are going to be a lot. Find a solution. So if you find one solution, we're good. If you find more than one, we're really good. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I'm going to consider the following polynomial, and there's a good reason behind that. You'll see x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. Are you familiar with that? Hopefully you are. Now, I'm going to isolate x squared and write it as x minus 1. This is kind of like linearizing the terms. So from here, I can get x cubed, x to the fourth, x to the fifth. You get the idea? But something interesting is going to happen real quick x cubed is actually going to be x squared times x, but x squared is x minus 1. And if you multiply that by x, you get x squared minus x, but x squared is x minus 1. Again, that infinite formula is going to give us x minus 1 minus x, which means x cubed can be written as negative 1. Wow, that was simple, right? Now, what is that supposed to mean? It means that x is a number whose cube equals negative 1. Does that mean that x is negative 1? And the answer is no. It is the cube roots of negative 1, but negative 1 is not one of them. Because in the complex world, negative 1 has three cube roots. One of them is negative 1. The other ones are, do you know what they are? 1 half plus root 3 over 2i. And the third one is 1 half minus root 3 over 2i. You could also write these using Euler's formula as e to the power i pi over 3 and this one as e to the power 4i pi over 3. The reason being you're adding a pi to it and that basically puts you in the uh, in a different quadrant. Make sense? So from the first you go to the third. Okay? I hope that makes sense. So we're not going to include negative 1 because negative 1 does not satisfy this equation. So it's the other cube roots of negative 1. Make sense? Okay. Now, so these are the numbers that satisfy this polynomial, which is x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. Or it could also be given by this relationship. Make sense? Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we know. Let's go ahead and summarize it first. x cubed does uh, equal negative 1, but x does not equal negative 1. You get the idea? Okay, now, here's what we're going to do. Since x cubed is negative 1, I'm going to take advantage of that. Remember the 3, the third power is special. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at 2022. Wow, that was two years ago, right? And 2022, because 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6, is divisible by 3. And it's actually 3 times 674. So, x to the power 2022 can be written as x to the power 3 to the power 674. And from here, I do know that my special x satisfies x cubed equals negative 1. So I can replace x cubed with negative 1. And this is going to give me an even power of negative 1, which is a positive 1. What, th what does that mean? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? x to the power 2022 equals 1. We kind of made a big, huge jump. But that's not good enough because I do need 2023 and 2024. But why did I use 
2022 because it's a multiple of three. That's why it's special. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does. Now, let's take a look. I want to evaluate x to the power 2023. All I have to do is multiply by x on both sides, and that's just going to give me x. Awesome, right? And how about the next power, which is 2004th power? I have to multiply by x one more time. That's going to give me x times x, which is x squared. But by the formula, x squared is the same as x minus 1. For which x's? For these two x's, for which x cubed equals negative 1? And it's kind of confusing, but I hope that makes sense. We have the cubits of negative 1, and for them, x squared is always x minus 1. And you can actually test it out. Square this number and subtract 1 from this number. They're going to be equal. Trust me on that, okay? Now, what does that mean? This means this is equal to x minus 1. That's our formula, right? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to write this inequality one more time. By the way, 2004, did I write that? I'm sorry. 2024, that's what I meant. So now I can directly write this as x to the power 2024 equals x minus 1. Yes, but how is that going to help me solve this equation? What was the degree? Duomilia viginti quatuor. Okay, that's 2024 in other words. And I can do the following. Add 1 to both sides. It's amazing, right? arithmetic and then that's going to give you x right and x is equal to what yes you got it if you said x to the power 2023 amazing you can just replace back and forth back and forth but guess what this gives you an awesome opportunity to relate two things this one and this one and now they're equal through x Thanks to x. Thank you very much, x, for that help. Now, we have the following relationship. But wait a minute. What was our equation? It was this one. Oh, so for x values whose cubes are negative 1, but they're not negative 1. In other words, the cubes of negative 1, this is true. In other words, those are the roots of this equation as well. And what are they again? x sub 1 equals 1 half plus root 3 over 2i, and x sub 2 is 1 half minus root 3 over 2i. If you don't believe that, raise them to the power 2024 and check it out. And 2023, of course, but do 2023 first. And we are pretty good because we got two solutions. The problem said, find a solution, at least one. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.